<clears throat> Hi everyone and welcome to TWS Impactor Hit. I, Joey Styles, Jonathan I, Joey Styles, with Jonathan Coachman and with Aiden English. And today on Impactor Hit, we're gonna have a good show here today on you know on Impactor Hit. You know, uh, Joey Style says, we're going to have the TWF 24-7 winnings will be on stake. So we'll see Zia Lee here today on Impact or Hit, Joey Style says. But one thing I want to know, Jonathan Coachman says, is who who the man or woman is going to be who's going to fight Zia Lee for the TWF 24-7 winnings. Wow. I could... Since no man or woman has only beat, since Zia Lee has only lost once, only lost two times since she's been in the toy wrestling gathering. I'll tell you right now, Joey Styles and Jonathan Coachman, I'll tell you, I don't really know who's going to be man enough or woman enough to be the next one to beat Zia Lee and win the TWF 24-7 winnings, Aiden English says. Well, well, we'll have to, we'll have to go, ah, oh, shit. Where's she at anyway? Oh, there she is, yeah, yeah. Well. Well. We'll have to go, we're going to have to go to the ring now, you know, to see who that's going to be. So, Zia Lee says, there are still folks out there that do, still do not, that have not beaten me yet since I came to the toy rest, since I came since I came to the toy wrestling gathering in the 11th month of last year. So the way that I, so the way I look at it, I am unbeatable and I think that I am unyieldable. But I only took two, I only took two losses. You know, I only took two losses. You know. So, I only took two losses. So, at the end of the day, I don't think that I'm going to be taking another loss. So, bring him or her out here. So, I can smoothly beat that man or that woman. You know, who thinks that they're man enough or woman enough to take away my TWF 24-7 winnings. Well... We got we got the main overseer of the TWF, uh, John Bradshaw. You know John Bradshaw Lakefield in the ring now. So Zia Lee, you want to know who you're going to be wrestling and fighting for the TWF 24/7 winnings? And since it is 24/7, I truly thought that it should at least there should be two folks fighting. You know. That there should be two, you know, there should be, should be two folks that should be fighting. So, what did I do? I went out there and I gave you two folks. I went out there and I hand, I went out there and I'm picking the folks. You know. that I think can beat you. Well, first is going to be the hidden wrestler who came with WCW Toy Biz, the Toy Biz WCW Bill Goldberg doll in 9 between 98 YL. Then the other one would be Al Deling Peach, which we bought from all these earlier this year. So we'll see which one is man enough and which one is woman enough to beat you, Zia Lee, for the TWF 24-7 winnings. 
It ain't happening just now. Well, Joey Stell says, if it is 24-7 winnings, that would mean that anyone could beat her at any time as long as they had a fight, Lord, Joey Stell says. I can tell you one thing, Jonathan Coachman says, Zia Lee could lose to either Pete or whoever that wrestler fighter happens to be, Jonathan Coachman says. Aiden English says, or Zia Lee will just am up you know, keeping her TWF 24-7 winnings. Aiden English said, this match is for the TWF 24-7 winnings. First, he is, first, he is the hidden wrestler. I guess. And she is Aldeline Peach. Eating well. The match got started. And Zia Lee, oh, Zia Lee just Zia Lee just took him down, whoever he was, Joey Stiles said. Yeah, Jonathan Coachman said, and Peach went down the same way. Aiden English says, at the end of the day, Zia Lee is just taking care of both these wrestlers. You know, and a body slam, and another body slam. Well, John Bradshaw Lakefield did not choose wisely with these two wrestlers, Aiden English says. Well, that is your belief. Oh, and Peach coming back right now. Peach picking up Zia Lee and Body Slam. Body Slamming the former WWE wrestler, now TNA wrestler. Joey Styles says. And another Body Slam. Will Peach become the TWF 24-7 fighter? One, two, and only a kick out. And the fight lord fell down, but it was mostly due to weightfulness, Joey Styles said. Well, guess what? The unknown wrestler, Jonathan Coachman, says he's going to do it. He's going to come from the top steeple, too, and down on Zia Lee. One, two, and only a kick out again. Zia Lee just knocked him down with her fist. She just knocked down Aldeline Peach with both of her uh, uh, thing. I told you no man is no man or woman can beat her, Aiden English says. One, two, three. Here is your winner. Ding, 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 ding. Here is your winner. You know, Zia Lee. Well, John, well, Joey Sal says, it looks like Zia Lee is still the TWF, is still a TWF 24-7 fighter. But for how long, you know, and if any, anyone else dares to fight her or wrestle her, Joey Stell says. I don't really know, Jonathan Coachman says, but that fight lord hasn't gotten on the ring. Hey, that's, that's Alistair Black. Oh, and Zia Lee just knocked down Alistair Black as well. And I guess Alistair Black wants to go for the TWF 24-7 winnings and Zia Lee just cut him down. Jonathan Coachman says. That's what it looked like, Joey Sal says. It looks like the Zile just cut down Aiden just cut down Alistair Black, which we have not seen him in months. That's right, Jonathan Coachman said. The former WWE NXT heavyweight fighter Alistair Black got cut down by Zile Lee that fast. Jonathan Coachman said. Well, I can tell you no one can beat her, Aiden English says. And if, and it's Alistair Black thinks he can beat her, well, good luck with that then. But I don't think he's going to beat her. All right. Take it away now, Mike, today. Thank you, Joey Styles and Jonathan Coachman. I'm going to be talking with, you know, with, Zio, with Alistair Black. I mean, talking with Zia Lee here today on Impact or Hit. All right, Alistair Black, we all know about your time in WWE and now in AEW and about. So, yeah, everyone knows Alistair Black says that I was just always yielding for someone to pick a fight with me. That's how it was when I was in WWE on NXT, then on Raw, then on SmackDown before I got fired. 
and the way it is when I'm an AEW. Well, Alistair Black, why did you want to go after Zia Lee for? Because Zia Lee likes to talk about how she thinks that she can't be beat by any man or any woman. But we all know she took two losses. And I know that I'll be the one to win the TWS Light Head TWS 24-7 winnings. Never mind. We know back when I was in WWE and I held the WWE NXT heavyweight winning for a long time when I beat Andrade Ciambas but then lost to Mossel Champa. That was more of Johnny Nargato's mistake that day. Well, speaking of that, now you're after Zia Lee now. I guess you're done with him. Yeah, I guess so. And Zia Lee needs to watch out because I'm coming after her TWF 24-7 winnings. Well, that's my talk with Alistair Black. Back to you, Joey Styles and Jonathan Coachman. Well, thank you, Mike, today for talking with Alistair Black here today on Impact or Hit. That's all the time we got here. I, Joey Styles, with Jonathan Coachman and Aiden English, we hope you like Impact or Hit, and we'll see you tomorrow for Friday Night SmackDown.